this story should give you hope for the future of politics in this country because it is possible to change minds. It is possible to get people to be in favor of good things. <laughs> and I don't mean that in the top press. Well, I'm in favor of good things and against bad things. I mean actual good things. I mean like, hey, nobody should go bankrupt because of health care. So take a look at this. Derek Eden, this is from Huffington Post, a former deputy campaign, campaign manager for Julian Castro, an ex-chairman of the Iowa Democratic Party, announced his support for Bernie Sanders' presidential bid Friday, handing the Vermont senator one of his most prominent endorsements from an Iowa Democrat. Eden, a 36-year-old veteran of Barack Obama's 2008 and 2012 presidential campaigns, does not fit the typical profile of a Sanders endorser, but a multi-year bout with, I'm going to butcher this, trigeminal neuralgia, a rare nerve disease that causes acute facial pain, has ruined his finances and reshaped his politics. The political consultant whose condition has cost him has cost his family an estimated $40,000 in out-of-pocket costs and brought them to the brink of bankruptcy, said Sanders' record won him over. Eden is now an outspoken proponent for Medicare for All and an admirer of Sanders' consistent support for the plan. Something that Bernie has that other candidates don't is he has that background and that consistency, Eden said. He's not just for Medicare for All or no corporate money while he's running for president. He's been there all along. It really pisses me off when people say, we can't do Medicare for All. We're seeing constant handouts for corporations. We're seeing endless wars, nepotism, and corruption all over the place, he added. It's naive to think we can't expand one of the most popular and one of the most successful government programs that we've ever seen be able to provide health care. Man. This story touched me. It touched me because what you're seeing here is a person who ran into some real life struggles who now is going, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are we not all on this page already? Why are we not all for Medicare for All? Why are we not all pushing for it relentlessly? Why are all the candidates not seriously for it and, and serious in that and not just using it as a marketing gimmick like some people like Andrew Yang, for example, where he admits, I'm not for the policy, but I'm going to use the terminology. This is when the rubber meets the road and real life beats you down and, and you have the light bulb moment. Now, listen, man, I'm ready and willing to welcome people like Derek into the fold with open arms. I'm ready and willing to accept former Trump voters, former Ted Cruz voters, who I'm famously less sympathetic towards. <laughs> but if they change their mind and they notice a good thing when they see it and they understand that this policy is definitely doable and it's just catching us up to the rest of the developed world, well, then that's wonderful. The more, the merrier. I want new voters in the fray who've never voted before. I want disaffected voters. I want independents. I want moderates. I want lefties. I want conservatives. I want everybody to see the light. And then we will fight relentlessly until we win on this front. Because, guys, I got news for you. The divide here is not left versus right. The divide is the powerful elites versus the working class. And so when every other country has one version or another of a universal healthcare system... When most developed countries have free at the point of service health care, paid for via taxes, and they save money that way, there's no reason we can't do that. The only thing standing in our way are the big pharma companies and the for-profit health insurance companies. As soon as we defeat them, get rid of the corruption, get rid of the special interest money, the sky's the limit. Because we'll save money and cover everybody. And this is what Bernie's been fighting for forever. He's raised consciousness on this, you know, it, it's super popular now. Now, we're going to have to fight back against the propaganda against it, but it takes a lot of propaganda to drill into somebody's head that everybody having healthcare free at the point of service is a bad thing. It takes a lot of propaganda to get people to that point. Now, that propaganda was working for a long time, and it's started to fail within the past three years. So, But we need a full court press. We need all systems go, and I welcome Derek into this fight. And I really hope that, uh, you know, his finances are okay because nobody should have to go through what Derek's going through. Nobody should have to go through that. And unfortunately, so many people do go through similar circumstances. 500,000 people go bankrupt every year because of medical bills. That's a moral outrage and we need to treat it as such. This is every bit as important as the civil rights movement and women's suffrage. 
This is really a, a human rights push that we're going for here. The battles aren't over. We're not at the end of history. And the next movement is for Medicare for All to make sure everybody has health care as a right and not a privilege.